Thank you for joining us. This was Matic Film Society, and you are tuning in to 98.5 The Film Stocks. Hey, good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Matic Film Society. In today's episode, we're going to be trying to learn how to shoot skiing and snowboarding on 35mm film. Let's get right into it. For this shoot, we're going to be doing some backcountry skiing. So there are a few things you're going to need. You'll need skis, obviously, and I'm not going to get into the gritty details of all the ski equipment you need for this, but if you really want to know about all my gear, leave a comment below and I'll make a video going over the full kit for what I take on a backcountry ski shoot. For this shoot, I linked up with a friend of mine and we toured into an area known as the burn zone here in Utah. There was a forest fire a few years back, so we thought it would be an awesome area to go and photograph. On this trip, I brought two different cameras with me. First up is the best camera for shooting in difficult and wet situations, the Aquaboy 3000, aka the Canon A1 SureShot. This is a waterproof 35mm film camera with a ridiculously sharp 38mm lens. This camera is loaded with some cheap Fujifilm 400 speed daylight. The second camera I would be bringing is the Fujika AX3 with a 55mm f2.2 as well as a 70 to 300 f5.6. This 300 millimeter lens is the lens that I'll be using for all of the action shots. In this camera, I had a new film stock called Candido 400 Daylight that I was really excited to shoot for the first time. Tip number one for shooting skiing on film. Wake up early, before the sun even rises. Usually when shooting backcountry skiing, it's going to take a while to get into the area that you're trying to shoot. So in order to get the creamy morning light, you have to be willing to wake up early for it. This zone that we were shooting in took us about two hours to skin into, and luckily we were able to make it to the ridge just as the sun was beginning to peak over the mountain. Tip number two, shoot into the sun. I absolutely love the images that come out when shooting the subject backlit. They are especially great when you can get a lovely sun flare because it just adds some extra sauce to the image. Tip number three, shoot everything. I know that when shooting film, you want to save your film and not shoot things that aren't photo worthy. But I've noticed that when I'm out on a shoot, that it's really important to not only shoot the main subject, but also take your time to shoot the surrounding area and get some detail shots of the environment as well. The fourth tip for skiing photography on 35 millimeter film is to choose a neutral color film. When photographing snow, it can be particularly difficult to get the color right. You want the snow to actually appear white and not tinted to either the yellow or the green spectrum. So try and find a film that oh, doesn't dude, that lean so one way or the other to a certain now, color in order to make yeah, sure that your yeah, snow yeah, stays yeah, nice yeah. and white and hopefully bright. Tip number five is to dial in your exposure. This is one of the more frustrating aspects of shooting skiing. The snow acts as a huge reflector for the sun, so oftentimes your light meter can get tricked into giving you the wrong exposure. I've noticed that giving about one to one and a half stops of extra light usually results in a well-exposed image, so that you are able to preserve the shadow detail while not completely blowing out the highlights. Down. Hey, down. You are in a pickle. Tip number six. Shoot on a long lens so that you can capture the fast action of skiing or snowboarding. When shooting on a long lens, you'll want to make sure your shutter speed is at least double the speed of your millimeter length of your lens. So, if you're shooting on a 200 millimeter lens, you'll need a minimum shutter speed of 1 over 500 in order to not have shake and jitter in your images. Because I was shooting on a 300 millimeter lens, I had my shutter speed locked in at one over a thousand and then used the aperture to dial in the proper exposure. Tip number seven, get below your subject and shoot uphill as they are skiing down to you. 
This can be tricky when using old film cameras with manual focus and a manual film advance. So take some time to get really comfortable with your camera's focusing system and how it works because you want to be able to focus as they're coming towards you so you need to know which direction to rotate your focusing ring so that your focus is following your skier or your snowboarder in the direction that they're skiing. Tip number eight is to try and shoot follow cam style. Some of the best images that came out of this session were the ones where I was skiing behind my friend holding the Canon A1 in my hand and shooting images while following him through the trees. You won't be able to choose your composition, but I've found that that doesn't really matter because the composition just kind of makes itself. It's difficult not to run into any trees though, so try and find a camera with a large viewfinder or something with a wider lens to help you keep the subject in the frame. Bonus tip is to just have fun with it. Goof off and play. Every time I try too hard to create a very specific image, I end up not loving the final results as much. When I instead just let myself be a little bit more playful and loose with my photography, I found that the images seem to come out with more of a feeling and a story behind them. Thank you for tuning in to Matic Film Society. This episode was all about learning how to shoot skiing on 35mm film. We've got a whole bunch of videos coming out of me going out and trying to shoot different things and different places all on 35mm film, learning all the different aspects of it and really trying to see how far we can push this medium. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on this journey while we wander around the world taking pictures on film. I guess we're done. Yeah.